everyone. So the topic I want to talk about today is not exactly related to beauty, though this will make you feel beautiful on the inside, I guess. So um, the thing I want to talk about is self-doubt. Now, self-doubt is a state when you just feel inadequate. I mean, many different ways. Maybe you feel that you're not pretty enough, not intelligent enough, not good enough for a person, maybe. Um, so there are, you know, tons of ways in which you can self-doubt yourself. You start to doubt yourself if you have what it takes. And then, you know, self-doubt is a state when you just feel like you don't have what it needs, what it takes to do that task. And you just start to just depress yourself. You know, you just start to undermine yourself and you start to blame yourself for things and you just start to kind of depress your own self. And it's a very bad state, I will say. Self-doubt is like a big black hole. And once you let yourself, you know, go in that black hole, it's very difficult to come out of it because then the thoughts that, okay, you are not good enough, you are not good enough for this task, maybe not good enough for that person, you are the one, you are the reason, just get depressed further and further and coming out of that black hole is just seems like an endless task and then maybe at the end you might just feel like if I'm the reason for everything what is the need for me why do I even need to be here because when you feel that you are not needed that you are the one causing problems and you need to go away from someone's life it's not just going away it's like going away I being I have suffered not gonna lie from one one facet facet or facet I don't know face it face it one face it of the self-doubt recently so I'm not gonna lie I did really face it and uh, it's not a very good state but I have come out of it so I really wanted to share my views on self-doubt because I feel it's just it's okay first of all it's a very self uh, created Thing. So the one thing I would definitely say is never doubt your own self, okay? Always, and I mean always tell yourself that you can do it, you have what it takes, you are not less than anybody. Now by that I don't mean you need to be like, oh, I've got what it takes, like I'm better than everybody. No, that's not what I mean. Uh, what I mean by don't feel you're lesser than anyone is in a most humble way, humble, in a very humble way. Don't think that you don't have what it takes. I mean, who are you to judge? Even in psychology, uh, nobody, like, psychologists don't believe that anybody has a zero IQ. Psychologists believe that everyone has some potential in them. Even the mentally disordered people, they don't have a zero IQ. So, and psychologists believe that nobody in this world has zero IQ, who are you to judge, right? You can't say that you don't have anything. I am sure, I believe in you, okay, and I am sure you have some potential in you. And it's just self-doubt is the worst harm that you can cause yourself. It's, it's worse than even cutting yourself. It's self-doubt, it's all in the mind and mind is a crazy place, let me tell you. If you use it the right way, it can be the most wonderful place or if you go into the self-doubt and the negative part, it can be hell. Seriously, it's up to you if you make your mind hell or heaven. I have started to believe that a person is never a reason. It's either the time, the situation, the action, the consequence, the something, but it's never a person. First off, stop blaming yourself. It's not you. It's the factors around you or the factors affecting that decision that you made or something like that. But it's not you. So number one, stop blaming yourself. You are not the reason. Okay? Number two. Uh, once you start to, you know, see, okay, the deal that goes with these negative feelings and the negative state of mind is that you start to, you know, a negative uh, thought is followed by a negative thought and another negative thought and then uh, the positive thoughts tend to just uh, become weak. So, uh, I would just say that once you start having negative thoughts, just keep a check on your mind, talk to yourself, spend time with yourself. You know, I cannot you know, stress enough how important it is to spend time with your own self. Uh, you need to know your own self. You need to know what you like, what you dislike. You need to know what you're good at. You also need to know what you're bad at. These are the questions you need to ask yourself. Question yourself, you know. Uh, why do you feel that way? What was the situation? Go to the root. What was the reason of it maybe? And 
don't just look at it that way that you're the one that's wrong and look at it according to that look at it in all perspectives okay look that okay maybe it's that reason be open to all reason learn to befriend yourself have faith in yourself if not for you for me have faith in yourself don't blame yourself please you have what it takes to do the task you are pretty enough you are good enough you just you're the best so just don't blame yourself and don't just go into that hole of self inadequacy it's just it sucks and you it, you're not worth it come on you're so awesome and in the end all I want to say is just ignite your life and let it shine just on the night like the 4th of July because baby you're a firework I believe in you so make sure that you believe in you because the person that matters the most is you and if someone and mind you if someone makes you feel that you are lesser than anyone you girl need to TTYL them out of your life ASAP because that person sucks and does not deserve to be with you so just remember your firework and keep on smiling and believing in you I am watching you anyways that's it for today I hope this was a little helpful and make sure to believe in yourself stay happy and stay blessed love you all bye bye